Hi kids! Today we will learn more about sound. So let's get started. Sound. Kids, we now know that sound is a vibration that can be heard by human ear and it can travel through solids, liquids, and gases. Now let's learn what is the speed of sound in different mediums. In dry air, sound travels at 343 meters per second. In water, 1,482 meters per second. Steel, 4,512 meters per second. So, denser the medium, faster the speed of sound. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. The speed of sound is least in dry air, and it increases from air to water to steel. Steel is the most densest material here. Volume of sound. Volume of sound is measured in decibels. Just like temperature can be even below zero degrees, same way volume of sound can be below zero decibels. Let's learn some. Typical sound levels in decibels. An average person can hear sounds with the volume zero decibels. And some persons with very sharp hearing can even hear sound with the volume about negative 15 decibels. A very small pin of dropping on the floor may make sound up to 20 decibels. Whispering may make sound in the range of 30 to 40 decibels. Normal conversation ranges from 50 to 70 decibels. Very loud music may range from 80 to 90 decibels. Industries may make noise up to 110 decibels. Jet plane takeoffs may make noise up to 120 decibels. A gunshot may make noise up to 130 decibels. When the volume of noises we hear reaches 85 decibels or above, it can permanently damage hair cells in the cochlea of our ear, which is the main hearing organ and is present in the inner ear, and a person can then become deaf. The amount of time we are exposed to loud noise determines the extent of loss that can happen to our ears. Listening to personal music system at maximum volume can reach a level of 100 decibels that can damage our ears permanently. Loud sound generated by lightning or thunder may range up to 120 decibels that can immediately harm delicate ears. You can listen to low volume music for a long time without any harm to your ears. Noise. Now kids, let's see what is noise. Noise is also a sound. But what's the difference between noise and sound? Noise is a sound that is unwanted, unpleasant, and disturbs people. For example, if we are listening to music, all other noises coming from outside are noise or disturbance for us. Example, if we are talking to a person. All other unwanted sounds, like other people talking, dogs barking, traffic sounds, or disturbances or noises for us. Noise pollution. What is noise pollution? Noise pollution 
is the access of noises that are unpleasant to hear and harms the delicate internal organs in the ear. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects and can even lead to loss of hearing, psychological imbalance, and even heart diseases in humans. Noise pollution also affects normal animal behavior as they are no longer able to listen to the voice of prey and it hinders the prey-predator relationships in natural habitats. Source of noise pollution can be traffic on roads, railways, air traffic, industrial noises, concerts, etc. Industrial areas, airports, railway stations should not be too close to the residential areas in order to prevent noise pollution in residential areas. We should wear earplugs when you are in an area where there is too much noise pollution. So friends, today we learnt more about sound and we also learn what is noise. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye bye!